What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new FIFA 22 career mode. So, new game, new FIFA. I'm going to start a career mode with Real Madrid. Um, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this series. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward also to being more consistent on YouTube. I'll try my best. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to do this Real Madrid career mode. Um, it'll probably be like a short-ish career mode, maybe two seasons-ish. Our main target will be to win the Champions League and La Liga, mainly the Champions League. But yeah, it should be around two to three seasons um, long. I have a few ideas of what I want to do with it, what players I want to sign and start like and stuff like that. But before we move on, um, as you can see, it says authentic club or create your club. We will be doing a create your club um, career mode. Uh, it'll probably be the next career mode we do or a few career modes um after that but we will do a our own customizable um club but for now we will be doing real madrid so without further ado let's get into this we we'll do this little um settings area we're doing world class four minutes we're going to turn it into sterling enabling um european competition no financial takeover strictness in, in negotiation strictness no job international offers i'm not interested in doing that right now only real madrid one and we will be doing uh, we will be enabling the transfer window and here we go. This is us being presented officially as Real Madrid manager. Very important, very important day for us. Um, JHP is the number one there. So now we have officially taken over as Real Madrid manager. And obviously we'll be doing the pre-season tournament. We're going to be doing the one with the most prize money. So we, we could be versing teams like PSG, Bayern Munich. And we can see there our group was um, had PSG in there. This email is um, just a bit of information about our group. Our group, our pre-season um, tournament group consists of PSG, Shandong, Taishan and Shanghai Shenhua. Um, so relatively easy group, easy group except for um, PSG. Obviously, we know how good they are. And then um, the two Chinese teams, I'm pretty sure they're Chinese, um, look relatively easy for us. So it should be an easy group for us, an easy um, ticket to the semi-finals. But we need to be careful with that PSG game. It's going to be a very important game for us to tell, to see how well our team um, is set up for the coming season. And also to try, try, around, try around new formations, new tactics, try around the new signings as well. But it will be a, a great game to play. And this one, International Watch, it was about the North American um, commercial, com commercials. Um, we have to try and expand ourselves to North America, sign players from North America as well, and play pre-seasons in North America. So this kind of mode um, will be sort of um, centred around North America. We will have to be signing North American players as well to complete the objectives. We will also have to be playing pre-season tournaments in North America. So it was quite unexpected, but it's not really um, too much of a big deal. So here we have a quick look at the objectives. We will check the youth development, which says to sign two players younger than 20 years old, with potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in the same position. Sign one player from the youth academy in the to assign to the defender position. And uh, within two seasons, sign one youth academy player to the senior team, playing five matches either as a sub or either as a sub on the starting eleven. Relatively um easy objective there. Shouldn't be too much of a problem in completing. Obviously, youth academy will we will be focus on that one as well and um the 20 years old of potential greater than the average um over rating of players currently in the squad position relatively easy as well i have a few ideas there brand exposure get a streak of 10 games without defeating a home match this season easy replace three players on the team easy and sign something about north, north american players should be easy as well um so not too much um of a challenge these objectives um financial Keep player salary growth under fifteen percent should be easy as well. It's not much of a big deal either. So, so far objectives aren't so hard, aren't that hard. Um, but yeah, I think we could easily scroll through um scroll through this. La Liga something there. Win the league title, Copa España, win the cup. Easy again. I think the most challenging one there will be La Liga, and definitely Champions League, win the cup. So looking through our youth academy, there's three players here: Sanchez, um, Marini, which was the one player which um. In the email they told us to focus on um they've got decent potential really decent potential so i did a bit of i um there's some changes to the development plan to boost them while they're still in the youth academy um, we had two goalkeepers and marini 
Um, so I just put for Sanchez, I just put the sweeper keeper development plan on Rossetti, another goalkeeper. I put the I think it was the sweeper, it was the goal, I can't, it was the goalkeeper one, yep, sorry, goalkeeper one, and uh, Marini, um, a CDM, um, with pretty decent stats, pretty decent stats. Um, I put in the ball winning midfielder to try and boost his defensive stats as well. And hopefully that also um, boosts his potential and maybe gets his pace in the starting 11 soon. But then I move on to a bit of training. Here are some images from the training session. So just before the first game of the FIFA 22 Real Madrid career mode, um, I had a little look through the squad. I organised the squad a little bit, um, see where we needed to make some transfers, what players we needed to sell. I um, also made some rotations to the starting eleven. We can see Vinicius Jr., Benzema, Rodrigo um, all starting there. But um, I took off Vinicius and put Hazard um, on the starting eleven. I also took off Bell from the bench point in the reserves ahead of um, Asensio. Um, Jovic, I also put him in the starting eleven. I sent to put him back down in the reserves. Um, overall, a decent squad. A pretty, pretty solid squad as well. Um, obviously, goalkeepers are going to change. Courtois. Our defense is very solid. Um, only thing, only change I did in defense was um, put Mendy as left back and Alaba as centre back. Um, now we've got a good partnership there of Alaba and Militao and then Mendy and Carver out um, as the full backs. Jovic will be settling on the bench. Um, he will get um game time though, cause I was a player that I just really like in general. Um, got a lot of potential as well. Um, and yeah, just players like Isco, Lucas Vasquez, Bell, Asensio on the reserve, Sebadius as well, Mariano Vallejo, and some of the youth academy players also on the bench. Then I went to the um squad hub to um, start listing players, um, transfer listing them, loan listing them. So, um, Courtois and Luning they stay, and so is Lopez, um. He could be a good backup keeper. Marcelo, he is being added to the transfer list as well. Militao is staying. Bajejo is getting added to the transfer list. He's a plus two requirements. I don't need him. Nacho was a tricky one. I wasn't sure if I should list him or not, if I should keep him. Um, I did decide to keep him after all. Carvajal is staying as well. Um, Ceballos is getting um, loaned. Casemiro is staying. Obviously, he's a rock in midfield. Um, Blanco, um, I wasn't sure as well if I should loan him, if I should keep him. I saw that his contract was expiring in 12 months, so I did have to um, negotiate a renewal and I ended up loan listing him so that he gets some valuable game time elsewhere and then he comes back um, probably with a higher potential and higher rating as well. Modric, I also kept Camavinga Cruz as well. Nakai was another one I wasn't sure what to do. I was a bit unsure about Nakai because he has quite decent potential, but he had 12 months left of, of his contract. So I didn't want to sell him yet either because I wanted to get a bit more money from him when his uh, rating is higher. But I, didn't want to, I couldn't loan him because um, obviously his contract is expiring 12 months. So I did want also a bit of money for him. So um, it's a bit of a tricky one. He does have decent potential, as I said, but I didn't think he's going to play much of a role in my team. So I put him on the loan list. I put Arribas on the loan list. I put Isco with 12 months left of his contract on the transfer list. Bale I was a bit unsure, but I wasn't sure if I should leave him or if I should um, put him on the transfer list. Um, but I did end up putting him on the transfer list. Um, so that's another player we're looking to sell. Hazard staying. Marvin I put on the loan list as well. Um, I saw I I didn't realize um at the moment, but he did have twelve months left of his contract. Um, Asensio, I kept and so I and I kept I sorry I transfer listed, Lucas Vasquez as well. Um, Lucas Vasquez just don't think he's going. It's not really, um, a player that I'm going to really need so and i did end up um negotiating marvin's contract renewal but he was on the loan list as well and then the rest of the players after lucas vasquez they're all staying um until we got to israel salazar um also play with decent potential um again i don't think he was going to get much i didn't think he was going to get much of a role in our team even if he had a higher rating 
Um, obviously, we did have Benz, we had Jovic. I was planning on signing Mbappe, maybe Haaland, I'm not sure. So I put him on a loan list as well. And that only left Mariano, who will be um, transfer listed and hopefully sold. But that is all the transfer business um, sorted for our team so far. Finally, we do move on to our first game of the season against Shandong Taishan. This is a team learning Marcelo, Nacho, Vallejo, Carvajal, Camavinga, Valverde, Isco, Vinicius Jr., Jovic and Asensio in the starting 11. And it was Benzema, Hazard, Cruz, um, Alaba, Mendy, Courtois and Gareth Bell on the bench, hopefully to make an impact on off the bench if need be, if we're losing or the game gets tight. But yeah, here we go. We're finally going to kick off our first game of this new career mode. Um, I'm excited for this game. It's pretty, I thought it was going to be a pretty easy game against um, Shandong Taishan. I thought it was going to be a stroll through the park. Um, I went for a bit of a rotated team. I'll probably call it our B team. So even though it's our B team, but it's a pretty solid team as well. High potential players there. But here Jovic gets us kicked off. Here we had our first chance of the game here. We've had um, good recovery by Valverde. He passes it to Kamavinga. And Kamavinga unfortunately misses. Good save by the goalkeeper and the rebound eventually does hit him. And into a goal kick for the opposing team. Lulling here has another goal kick. And our, second, our next chance. Jovic is through and goal. Um, I see Kamavinga open. Kamavinga shoots. But Valverde is there to smack it in. The rebound. 23rd minute of the game. 1-0 to Real Madrid. Then we come here attacking through with Marcelo who passes it to Vinicius Jr. Um, Vinicius Jr. passes it to Isco round the edge of the box. Nice spin there and Isco finesses it into the middle um, corner. 36th minute of the first half. Um, Isco doubles our lead. Nice celebration there coming to right into the camera. Um, really nice goal to be fair. Really nice um, turn there by Isco here. And a really nice finish. 2-0. Now in second half here, um, first clear chance of the second half. Essential running down the ring, runs across goal, shoots and just about misses. Now with just over 10 minutes left to go, we attack once again. This time with Vinicius running down the wing. Does a nice little turn there, nice little skill and finesses it into the top right corner. What a goal from Vinicius Jr. What a goal. Really nice goal. A nice little stop and skill move there to trick the defender. There's a little spin here. And then finesse the watch it again. They could have easily beaten by pace, but stops the ball and finesse it right there into the top right corner. There's no stopping that. And then on the edge of half time. And then that was it. That was our last goal of the game. A very convincing 3 0 win. Okay, Shang Dong Tuning. And then finally. After the match, we got two offers, um, one for Luka Modric from Manchester United. Um, I was kind of tempted to sell him, but I ended up rejecting the offer. I just didn't think um, I should I should sell him just yet. And then we got an offer for Marvin. We got a loan to buy offer from Cagliari. I think that's how you say it. Um, for Marvin Park. Um, I was planning on accepting it, so I did um, go into negotiations with the club so i'll show you the negotiations with, uh, with Cagliari right now they offered a loan with option to buy well it was initially they asked for a two-year loan however um i rejected it and i we agreed on a one-year loan because i think it's going to be good because that way i get a bit more money um for the next transfer window um we agreed on a 50 50 for the wages that means we each get 15 we each pay 15k of his wages they asked for um 2.35 mil I didn't ask for free mil, but they rejected the free mil um, offer. So then we ended up agreeing, as you will see right now, on a 2.6 mil offer. I personally think it's a decent offer. A um, good bit of money for a player we weren't really going to use. And yeah, we did end up agreeing a 2.6 mil offer with a loan. And those were our two first offers of the career mode. A Modric rejected offer to Man United and a Marvin loan to buy offer from Cagliari agreed a 2.6 mil um, buy option a one year loan agreed that's our first transfer business done of this career mode as we move into a game against Shanghai Shenhua um, this is a team we would go for 
Um, Lopez, Miguel, Fernandez, Alaba, Carver, House, Ceballos, Blanco, Arribas, Hazard, Mariano and Vasquez all starting. With Jovic, Vinicius, Barberde, Camavinga, Militao, Mendy and Luning on the bench. So here we go into our second game of the pre-season tournament against Shanghai Shenhua. Another, I would say another pretty easy game um, on paper. Um, I was expecting a confident win here as Mariano gets us kicked off. Nothing much happened until the 27th minute when Shanghai Shenhua came attacking and Yang Su scores an absolute stunner and smashes it from the D right into the top right corner. Caught, um, Lopez was not getting to that at all. Really nice goal to be fair from Yang Su. I'm sorry if I'm saying the name wrong. Let's watch it again here. There's no reach and I don't know what my defence was doing. But yeah, Shanghai Shenhua did get the lead. However, it's going to be a very short lead as down the wing here, Hazard... Um, Dribbled past the defender, dribbled past the second one, goes across goal and shoots right into the side netting to equal the game. So it's two minutes after um, Shanghai Shenhua scored the first of the game. Really nice solo goal here by Hazard. Um, it's a really nice goal. Be the lead barely lasted five minutes. It was a great goal. Um, yeah, we're now 1-1. Shortly after though, it was a little counter-attack, three versus two. Um, we're powering up ahead. Um, nice pass there to Blanco, who's through and goal, finesses it into the top right corner. Very nice goal from the youngster. The 35th minute, Blanco scores to put Real Madrid 2-1 up. A really nice finish, to be fair. Really nice finish. I thought it was going to miss. Um, when I shot, I didn't realise who it was. Um, I wouldn't, even when I scored, I didn't realise who it was. Let's watch the, game, the goal here again. Really nice finish. It's almost like a lobbed finesse shot. Then here, um, on the 40th minute, really nice skill there. And really nice finish into the... Um, bottom left side side netting by uh, Mariano three one up. We switched this game around um, in a matter of ten minutes. Um, our team is very good right now. Very convincing goals as well. Very convincing build up. Here in the second half, really nice lob ball to Arribas, who smacks it into the medium slash side netting. Really nice goal here. Um, Again, our youngsters are really are really showing up in this game. Blanco and out this time Arribas. Really nice goal here. Uh, we can call it B team as well. Really um really turn this game around even after we're losing 1-0. It's a very nice goal to be fair. Reminds me of Ronaldo's goal versus Liverpool here. But my, a mistake of mine will lead to Shanghai Shenhua's um, second goal of the game. It's my mistake that I tried to lob it past the defender. Um, but the defender does get ahead, um, get a touch on it. And they do eventually score another brilliant goal. They scored two pretty solid goals uh, right into that same corner, the same top right corner. Absolute banger. We are pretty much secured the three points here, but we weren't giving up. We were still going for more goals here. Um, as a shot from outside the box um, is blocked by the goalkeeper, but in a good defensive um, performance from us. Um, recovers the wall for us. Hazard tries to finesse it in the top right corner, but the crossbar just about saves that. And that would be the end of that game, the last chance of the game. Um, we did beat them 4 2. Um, two very good performances from our B team there against Shandong Taishan and Shanghai Shenhua. Um, we do have a game against PSG right now. We're currently top of um, our group, which is brilliant. We do have a very important clash against PSG to decide who finishes top of the group. Um, but if you guys did enjoy that video, um, please leave a like. Um, comment as well, any feedback or any players you'd like me to sign, I'd be highly appreciated. Peace.